Hi, I'm Todd Durkin, and thanks for joining us in this Total Gym Intermediate Level Workout. This program is customized using the same training principles that I use with my pros and people just like you to take your game to the next level. We will do a total body program using rep counts and sets, and you'll begin as soon as you're in position. Lower body exercises will primarily be 15 to 20 reps, and upper body exercises will primarily be 10 to 15 reps. I'll also introduce a 30 second you call it, which is like playtime where you get to choose the exercises that you like best. First, a couple of safety tips and then we're going to rock and roll. If you have not watched the intro video, do it before you start this routine. And remember, if you have long hair, make sure it's tied back. This is Adam and Christy, two top trainers who will be performing the exercises as well as the modifications and the variations. Now let's get started. We're first going to begin with the dynamic warm-up. So nice and easy, I want you to move your body, bounce back and forth. This is the intermediate level program, so do what you can do. I want to elevate your tissue temperature and get yourself right. You ready to go, Christy? Adam, you ready? All right, here we go, jumping jacks. If you want to modify, feel free to modify, but I want you to move that body. Full jumping jacks. Warm up your shoulders. Warm up the balls of your feet. Your entire body, total body from feet to fingertips, will be worked in this entire intermediate level program. Now, from the jumping jack position, we're gonna sink it down, toes are out, it's called a gate swing. We're gonna hop on up and hop back down, back and forth, okay? If you wanna do a side step, like Christy's doing, feel free. Otherwise, sink it down. A little bit of a gate swing open, opens up the hips here. Back and forth, five, four, three, two, smile, and pogo hop. Warm up the Achilles, warm up the calves, get ready to rock and roll, because we're gonna have some fun today. I'm gonna challenge you with some of my best exercises. And we're going to get after it. Now, taking a rest, palms in front of you, we're going to open and then close. We're back and forth, it's called a seal jack. Open and close, seal jack, go at your pace. There's some coordination in this, yes, there is coordination, but I'm trying to also increase your athleticism, your strength, your endurance. The seal jacks are certainly going to help you do that. And relax, Woo! you start to feel warm, right? Arm swings all the way on around, back and forth, back and forth. And other way, other way. Back side, open and close. You will work your shoulders, your arms, your lower body, and your core with torso rotation. We're almost ready to get to the total gym and start the program now. But let me tell you, a great dynamic warm up, three to five minutes before you start any workout, is really going to help you get to that next level. So now it's time to start your total gym workout. We're going to start with our lower body. Anytime you want to get better, I like going to the lower body, and we're starting with our squat series. Sit at the end of the glide board, place your feet up on the squat stand, slowly walk it on up, and lie back. Relax. By this point, you've been on the total gym a few times, so I'm going to show you this whole entire leg series, which is going to surely blast your entire lower body. Here we go. Squat it on down, back and forth, and we're going 15 to 20 reps. That's what I'm looking for on this, and as you do that, go at your pace. If you want to slow it down, slow it down. Focus on your breath, exhaling as you come on up. You really want to get as deep as you possibly can. Awesome, keep it working. Drive it out of the hole there, good, good. And when you get to your 15 or your 20, whatever you can do, rep ranges. I love to give my athletes and my clients rep ranges. Do what you can do on that. You'll just hold it at the top and pause at that top, awesome. We're really gonna warm up those legs real good. Now those are squats, very basic movements. We're now going to increase the intensity, if you're up for it, with some squat jumps. Same exact thing, 15 repetitions on squat jumps. As deep as you can, explode off that squat stand and then land softly, land soft. The plyometric component, this is a great way to help increase your strength as well as your power. Strength plus speed is power. I like the way you're landing softly on the squat stand. Fantastic, nice. Again, you can do less reps, even if it's 10. I want you to do your best effort today. Squat jumps. I like what I see here. Good, almost there. And good. When you're done with your 15, you can relax, take some deep breaths, and by this point, your legs are on fire. How you feeling, Adam? Christy, you good? Same type movement, but we're adding a rotational component. It's called skiers. Now, with the skiers, 15 to 20 total repetitions, you're actually gonna be turning in midair. So let's demonstrate here. As you jump, you're gonna turn your feet the other way, your back and your forth. This is a great exercise to work on the outer thighs, the lateral thighs, so you can really focus not only on the glutes and the quads, 
but also the lateral part of the leg as well. So your skiers, try to get the 20 repetitions. Again, the intermediate level program is all about you trying to do your best. I'm giving you rep ranges. I want you to become intuitive saying, I got three, I have four, I have five more repetitions in me with those skiers. Come on, hang in, come in. There you go, keep it going. Whatever you have, 10 to 20 reps, you got it. Good, if you have to do less, do less, but do your, do your best. Finish strong. When you get to 20, I want you to relax and play. Just feel how smooth that is. Squat, squat jumps, skier jumps. All are fantastic exercises to work your entire lower body. Get after them, they're gonna help you improve your strength on your lower body. Now, hands gone behind the head. We're going with a single leg jackknife. A single leg jackknife. Please watch what our trainers do today. When we do our single leg jackknife, our hands are behind your head, your tongue's on the roof of your mouth. You're gonna keep your legs straight and you're gonna alternate back and forth. Good, we're going 20 repetitions. With this total, as 10 per side on the single leg jackknife. This is going to work on the lower portion of the abdominal. Your head is back, your eyes are up on the ceiling, your tongue is on the roof of your mouth. Good, single leg jackknife, good squeeze, good squeeze, way to work. Keep it going, keep it rolling. This is the single leg jackknife. I like the way you're really focusing on squeezing at the top. A fantastic upper body and lower body core exercise. Awesome. Get that up, finish it strong. Again, rep ranges, my friends, rep ranges. What do you have in you? Again, you can do 10, 15, or 20. That's our rep range that you're shooting for, and as you get better and better, you're gonna get more repetitions. So, while you were doing your core, your lower body was relaxed. So I'm now gonna challenge it with a single leg squat. One leg, single leg, one foot's gonna be on the squat stand. Let's start with that right leg down. You're gonna now single leg squat all the way down as low as you can. There should be no knee pain on this. Let's go 10 per side, my friends, 10 per leg. Now make a mental note of what it's like. There should be no knee pain, but you should really feel a nice deep stretch in your glutes and then drive your foot through the squat stand, get your 10, and then we're gonna switch up and we're gonna go the other side, okay? So we'll go 10 back and forth. As you keep count, go at your pace. Slow down, if you wanna slow down, slow down. If you wanna speed up, then you can speed up. Please, go at a pace that's comfortable for you. Fantastic, I like what I see right here. Single leg squat, keep it rolling. Get your 10, get your 10. Oh, and you're like, oh, my glute, my glute. Yes, this is the intermediate level program, and I wanna challenge your glutes and your legs. Why? Because if you're looking to change your body, the total gym is gonna give you the answer between your legs, your core, your upper body to work in so many different variations. Now watch what we do here. We're gonna progress the single leg squat into single leg split jumps. We're adding the plyometric component, that actual hopping, we're gonna switch your legs back and forth. 20 total reps, back and forth, one of my favorites. The other leg is just gonna go up in the air above the squat stand, feel how secure that is. You don't need to go too deep. The deeper you go, the harder it is. Awesome, keep it going, keep it going. I like it, I like it. Come on, squeeze, 20 total. If you do 10 or 15, that's good. But we're looking for great today. Single leg, split jumps, back and forth. I like that, keep it going. You should be sweating by now. I feel your sweat. I wanna sweat with you. I wanna feel your perspiration. So keep it going. Good, good. Get your 20, finish it strong. Whatever you got, nice, nice job, Adam. Nice job, Christy, awesome. Your legs are on fire by this point. If they're not, man, I gotta work you even more. But this should be good. Our last one, let's go back to our core. Hands are behind your head, tongue on the roof of your mouth, looking on up. We're going bicep one rotate. You're gonna alternate. You're gonna be right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee, 20 total repetitions. Once again, I give you permission to use a rep range. Do what you can do. But 15 to 20 reps on these movements are really gonna be a fantastic way to boost up your metabolism, get you stronger, to work on your core, and get all those areas going. Awesome, keep it going, good, good. Now start to pulse, one side only. One side only, just keep pulsing. Pulse, 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 five, four, three, two. Switch it up all the way, come on. I gotta challenge you. Always something up my sleeve to challenge you to get better. I want you sweating. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Take your rest coming all the way down. Squat, stand, good. Bring your glide board down. Come to your feet, all the way up to your feet. Now that's a fantastic job with your lower body. Now when you're done with that, what I want you to do is I want you to take your squat stand off. 
Notice how simple that was to take the squat stand, place it in an area somewhere behind your total gym, and we're going to go to our next set of exercises. Now, with the squat series, your total gym was nice and high. I'd like for you to now adjust it to where it's a little bit lower, probably somewhere between a three or a four for our surfer series, our entire lower back. You're going to be facing the column as we do this. Now, in the beginning level program, if you're a beginner, you can go seated. I'm going to show you in the intermediate level program today from the kneeling, low kneeling or high kneeling position. This is what you'll do. Please make sure your pulley is attached to your glide board, important, and your safety pin is in the column. From there, you're ready to take your hands, hold on to the pulleys, hold on to the handles, and you're going to knuckle on down. When you knuckle down, you're going to be really safe, it's anchored, and you're good to go. You're going to kneel on the glide board. You can sit if you like to modify. We're going to show the kneeling position, and we're showing surfers. Now with the surfer, please watch. Your palms are facing down. Look at the beautiful stretch in the lats, the latissimus dorsi. Your lats attach on your lower back. So this is going to be great as you come on up. I would like for you to squeeze nice and good in the back side. This is a surfer motion, and we're looking for 10 to 15 repetitions. Now we're upper body, 10 to 15 repetitions with the surfer. Back and forth, squeeze. Squeeze, yes, I like that right there. Squeeze whatever you have. Get a nice stretch. Go slow. If you want to intensify, you can take a look over here at Adam, how he's going from low and he's coming high. Notice Christy's modified staying low. Do what you can do. This is so tremendous to open up the chest, to squeeze the back side. Oh, doesn't that feel nice? I like the stretch. I like the strength on the back side to get that full surf. Imagine you're surfing on a board right now. You're having some fun and you're playing. That's the beauty about the total gym. You can play. When you get to your 15 and relax, you're going to anchor down. As long as your knuckles are on the glide board, you're safe. You're safe if your knuckles are down, called the anchored position. As you're resting, the next one is the tricep kickback. Now, when you do the tricep kickback, I would like you to keep your elbows nice and tight and squeeze your elbows and hands back as high as you can and focus on your tricep. Awesome. Squeeze. 10 to 15 repetitions. Your chest is low, your head's in line with your spine, and you're exhaling your breath on the way back. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Out there, I want you to feel your tricep. This is going to get rid of the old bye-bye muscle. When you wave goodbye to somebody, no more jiggle under the arm. The tricep kickback from the kneeling position is involving your core as well as your tricep. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 10 to 15, squeeze, squeeze, and relax. I like the way you held that. Good. Anchor down if you need it, or you can just hold it there. How you feeling? Christy, good. Adams are feeling great. Now you're sweating. So we want to go with a high row. We're working on the back side of the body. With the high row, the palms are going to be down. You're going to squeeze all the way back toward your shoulders. Now look at the pinch on the back side. Once again, this is an upper body exercise, so you're squeezing all the way back. Let's give it a shot. Here we have high kneeling. Here we have low kneeling. You take a choice which one you would like to do in this intermediate level program. Now let me tell you, you can make this as hard or as easy if you want. If you want to make it harder, you could always knuckle down and adjust your total gym higher or lower. It's going to take you all of about five to ten seconds to adjust. Go at your pace. I'm going to challenge you to be your best, whatever your best is today. Awesome. Almost there. Ten to fifteen. Ten to fifteen. And when you're done, I want you to relax, but squeeze it on out. Ten to fifteen. Ten to fifteen. Nice. Relax it. Take a rest. Now, when you feel a burn, when you feel fatigue set in, that's when I'm looking for you to push to another three four or five repetitions. That's when you get great results, is when you push through the final few repetitions. As long as your form and your technique are perfect, then I'm happy and you're happy. Our last one in this exercise here, this routine, is the bicep curl. This little sequence, the bicep curl. Ready and go. Your palms are up. 10 to 15 repetitions, your elbows are nice and tight, and you're squeezing as you take your hands towards your shoulders. You can feel your core involved. Back and forth, good squeeze. Good squeeze, good squeeze, 10 to 15. You can make this as hard or as easy as you want. If you want harder, then just squeeze, squeeze. I want you to hold it right there. Hold it there, hold it there. Come on, hold it right there, that last repetition. I want you to hold, 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 and slowly coming on back and anchor down and relax. Woohoo! That is fantastic. Now, in this kneeling position, we did surfers, we did tricep kickbacks, we did bicep curls, rows. Now I'm going to introduce you to my friend called the You Call It. I have my stopwatch. And in You Call It, you get to play now. 
for 30 seconds, you get to choose any of those exercises that you just did. So you could do the curls, you could do the kickbacks, you could do the rows, you could do the surfers, but I want you to mix it up, have some fun, and play. The beautiful thing about the total gym is you get to play in your routine. Here we go, ready? 30 seconds, whatever you can do, I'm looking for one great set. Ready and go, here we go. Come on, push. I see surfers, I see rows, I see curls, nice. Mix it up, whatever felt good, whatever you want more, go with it, come on. Keep it up, keep it up. Almost there, squeeze. I like that, you're halfway there. I like it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Push, there's your row. The backside, you can't get enough. We have 10 seconds left. Push, my friend, push. Challenge yourself to be your best. Come on, five seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and time. Relax, continue to hold onto your handles. Anchor down, place your feet on the ground. If your feet are on the ground, you're holding your handles, you are perfectly safe, you're anchored down, and you're feeling awesome. Great. Now watch how easy and seamless this next transition is. We're going into our lying inverted bicep curl. Please make sure that you're seated at the top of the glide board, and you're gonna lie back on your glide board in that inverted position. Please make sure your head is comfortably resting on the glide board. With your palm facing perfectly up toward the ceiling, keeping your elbows to your ribcage, we're gonna begin the bicep curl. Get a feel of that. Again, right now we're at a level three, maybe a level four. Do what you can do comfortably, you can always adjust. Good, we have 15 repetitions. Again, you have a rep range, 10 or 15. If you're just starting this intermediate level program, maybe you're doing 10, maybe you're doing 15. You can always adjust the intensity by rising up, good. Good, this is the lying inverted bicep curl. One of my favorite exercises, but I think they're all my favorite exercises. There's so many favorite exercises because we can do so many different exercises. That's what I love about the total gym. Come on, almost there. Good, good, good. And relax, awesome, 10 to 15. When your arms are straight, you're just relaxing, take some deep breaths. This inverted position, great for lymphatic flow, so take, so take some deep breaths. Into the upright row. With the upright row, I want you to really raise up your elbows nice and high, awesome and keep them higher than your wrist. There you go, keeping your wrist nice and flat, palms are facing down, and exhale up. 10 to 15 on the lying upright rows. Excellent job as we lift on up. Doesn't that feel nice? The lying upright row. We had our curls, we had our upright rows, 10 to 15. All of our upper body exercises give you the rep range, now your shoulders are feeling it. There is not a muscle that will not be worked in this entire intermediate level workout. Good, and relax, take a rest. Man, how are you feeling out there? By now, you're feeling good. Now, we've just done the bicep curls. We've done the upright rows. We're gonna do a combination set. What a combination set allows you to do is you to choose between the curl or the upright row, okay? Once again, on this one, you're gonna have 10 to 15 repetitions. Mix it on up. You can start with bicep curls. You could do your upright rows, but mix it on up. Ready and go. We're not timing it. I still want you to play a little bit. Do a few. You can do three or four curls three or four upright rows, and mix it on up. But I'd like you to get that extra set in here, because in the intermediate level program, we're now doing two or three different sets to really work on the arms and the upper body. Good, squeeze it on out. 10 or 15 total repetitions, however you want to do it. Let your arms bark. Come on, let them bark. I want you to be strong. I want you to look lean. Get it going. Good, good, good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Hands go down, relax them on down, and just chill. Take some deep breaths. What we're gonna do is called the reverse crunch. Now please watch carefully. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your legs straight up in the air. And with your hips, you're gently going to just lift your hips off of the glide board and then coming back down. Now look at the beautiful, the hands by the side. It's so graceful as you lift up, your lower abs are lifting. This is a really difficult area to get to. But on the total gym, when you're lying inverted, you can do the reverse ab crunch and you can feel your entire lower abdominal region working. This is good. Now, 15 repetitions is your goal. If you have to do five or six and stop, do that. But I'd like for you to do a couple different sets to get to where you get at least 15 reps. Why? Because most of us want to work, lose that little pouch right there. We want to get rid of it. And this exercise is going to allow us to do it. Five, four, three, good squeeze and relax, take your rest, awesome. This is the reverse abdominal crunch. Now, while you were doing the reverse abdominal crunch, your, lower, your upper body was like, hey, I'm relaxing, I feel good. So I'm gonna give you one more bicep curl. 
except this time we're doing what's called static equilibrium. Static equilibrium is where you're gonna go into position. Do not let the glide board move. And you're gonna be going back and forth without the glide board moving. And I'm gonna see how long you can go. Cause right now I can see you. And when I start this stopwatch, I wanna see how long you can go. Ready and go. Push back and forth. Take a look at what they've got. The glide board's not moving. They're back and forth. Come on. I see you. You're still working. You're starting to feel it. Keep going. Keep going. You're almost there. You're almost there. Almost there. Hang in. Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. And take a rest. Oh, static equilibrium. That is a game changer. The static equilibrium. I don't know of another exercise, another piece of equipment where you can do static equilibrium back and forth and really isolate on the muscle you want to work on. So static equilibrium you can do on a lot of different exercises, but bicep curls, fantastic. You call it. Let's do the same thing because I'm after your upper body today. You can do curls. You can do upright rows. You can do the reverse abdominal crunches. You choose. Ready? 30 seconds this time, whatever you have, and go. Nice. This is a killer little routine here. This sequence of bicep curls, upright rows, static equilibrium. You've got 30 seconds to do whatever you can do. Push. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Whatever you want to do, this is your opportunity to get better. Curl, upright rows, reverse abdominal crunches. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Push it, push it. I need five more seconds. Good. Four, three, Two, one, and relax. Take a rest. Sit all the way on up. Feet go down all the way to the floor. That's called the anchored position. Take a rest. Take a nice deep breath. We're going to get ready for the seated chest press. Now, when you do that, we're actually going to rotate all the way around, 180 degrees around. Hold the handles in your hands and sit at the top of the glide board. Take a little rest here. Take a little rest. Now, when you're doing that sequence right there of your bicep curls and your rows, your upright rows and your core, Notice how the burn, the fatigue you feel. This is good. And if you want to get in great shape, you have to feel that. I have to get you to dig really deep, to challenge yourself at least three times a week on this program. It's total body. So we just worked the arms, we just worked the shoulders, I'm now going to work the chest. You get to see those in the mirror. We call them the mirror muscles, so they're fun. But before we get started, let me make sure that you understand how to do it. You're going to use an overhand position because we're going with a narrow grip, seated chest press. Overhand grip, you're going to have palms in and you're going to press your hands out and palms down to work on your chest. 10 to 15 repetitions at your pace, at your tempo. Now, if you're at home right now, I want to see if you have leg sweat. Yes, leg sweating. I always say the sign of a great workout is if you have leg sweating. And if you have leg sweating, I'm really happy. So keep working. The Total Gym will give you leg sweatage if you're at the appropriate intensity. So challenge yourself. 10 to 15. I see it. I see it, Adam. I see a little glistening glowing. That means we're working. Push, push. There you go. Five, four, three, two. And relax. Take your rest. Anytime you want to, place your feet on the ground. That's a nice, safe position. You're anchored down. Look at the beauty that you can do all the variations within a movement. Speaking of variations, the next one is just like the seated chest press, but this time we're going to do an alternate punch. Okay, If you want more rest time, then feel free to take more rest time, but I want to challenge you. So with the seated alternating chest press, what we're going to do is you're going to punch one at a time back and forth. A total of 10 to about 15 repetitions back and forth. If you do it with the right, then we do it with the left. The fact that you're going back and forth, you're getting a lot more core involvement there, and that's good. The more you get your core involved, this is really going to work multiple joints. There you go. You got your chest. You got your shoulders. Push it, push it. Almost there. Yes. Yes. Alternating punch. Come on. Alternating punch. What do you have? Come on. Punch, Adam. Punch. Come on, Christy. Come on, Christy. Punch. You have to punch. You have to work. Work. Boom, boom. Move it around. Yes. Look at their playing right now. And relax. Take the rest. Now, isn't that fun? You get to punch. You get to move. And this is a fantastic way to strengthen your arms, to strengthen your chest. Now, we did the seated chest press. We did the all thing. I'm now going to introduce you to the chest fly. Now, with the chest fly, please watch carefully. You're going to go from an overhand grip to an underhand grip. With the underhand grip, I would like you to keep your elbows bent. This protects your shoulder. Keep your chest out, your shoulders back, and keep a smile on your face too. And what we're going to do is just nice and easy as you come back, slowly squeeze it to the front side. Life you just to perform 10 or 15 repetitions. 
If there's any shoulder pain, then you either uh, make the motion a little bit smaller or you could stop if you need to. But a great way to stretch the chest and to work the chest, the shoulders, and the arms. Seated chest flies, almost there. Come on, you got double arms working. Squeeze, I like the smile on the faces. Come on, get it, a couple more. Three, two, and relax. Feet go down, take your rest. Now with your chest fly, I want you to remind you to keep your elbows bent. Now here's the thing, on the next exercise we do is called eccentric chest flies. Eccentric is what I call slower than gravity. A very slow motion, slower than normal. I want you to come back. When you get back to the furthest position that you can go comfortably, then we're gonna squeeze forward. Slow your pace down, and as you adjust your tempo to slower than normal, watch how much more challenging it is. So we're gonna go with some eccentric chest flies. Ready and go. Slowly, you can do double or you can do single. It's your choice. You see Adam doing the double, okay? Chris is going single. It's an alternating chest fly if you like to go alternating or double. The chest fly eccentrically is fantastic to work all of your upper body, your core. Look at the grit in their face. This is what I want to see. This is the intermediate level program. Push, we're now getting that back and forth. Unilateral motion, five, four, three, two, and no, you're not done. Hold it there, hold it there. Yeah, I got you, hold it, hold it, hold it. Squeeze, squeeze, slowly, come on back slow. Stop right there, stop right there. Come on, almost there, hold it there. Give me a smile as you're feeling the burn in your chest and your arms. Three, two, one, and relax. Keeping your feet there, holding on to your hands. We're not done quite yet, almost there. We had our chest fly, we had our chest press, we had our alternating punches, and of course we had our chest flies. So we had a pressing and we had a flying. Now one of those, I know at least one of those, felt really good and you're like, Todd, I want more of that. Please give me more of the total gym chest press or chest fly. Please don't go on to the next exercise. Okay, so we'll listen. Let's do that right now. You call it. You have 30 seconds to do one or all of them that you would like to do. You can go with a narrow chest press, you can go with an alternating punch, or you can just gradually go back and forth with your chest fly. Choose now, let me get out my best friend, my stopwatch, and for 30 seconds, you get to play. Ready, and go. That's it. You choose, whichever one you like. If you're going with the narrow chest press, remember it's an overhand grip. I like the way they're keeping their posture. I like the way they're punching there, keeping the shoulders involved, good. You're 15 seconds in. Almost there, keep it going, keep it going. Good, 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 yes. Yes, four, three, two, one, and relax. Take your rest, feet go down, fantastic job. Your entire upper body by this point should be feeling some fatigue. You had your chest worked, you had your arms worked, but we gotta get a little bit more core work. So we're gonna go with some oblique twisters, some torso rotations. Now watch the transition, it's very simple to do this. You're gonna let one handle down, you're gonna come to the one side of your glide board. Have a seat on your glide board, and for this one, what I'd like you to do is to hold the front handle. The front handle, and you can go seated, or you can go kneeling, it's your choice. Now if you're kneeling, you see Adam right here doing the kneeling position, it's important that you have the handles, and again, at any time, if you anchor your hands down and knuckle down, you're in the safe position. So please, never kneel down without knuckling down, and this way you're gonna ensure your own safety when it's knuckled down. With the oblique twister or the torso rotation, what you wanna do, is use a short lever first. A short lever means close to your sternum. If you want it harder, then you can always extend your hand out. So we're gonna have, right now we have nice, easy 10 to 15 oblique twisters or torso rotations. You choose, do you wanna go with a short lever or do you go with a long lever? You can certainly try one. If one's easy, then go long lever. If you try the long lever, it's too hard, then of course modify and come back to the short lever. And put a little smile on your face and you get a nice full rotation in the oblique twister, good. I like that, I like it. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Good, 10 to 15, 10 to 15, yes, yes. 10 to 15 on those oblique twisters. I wanna get after that core. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Hands go down, take a short little rest if you like to, because we're doing some unilateral work now. What does unilateral mean? It means one-sided. So with the next exercise is called a lateral bicep curl. A lateral bicep curl. And with a lateral bicep curl, what you can do with one hand, palm up, you're just simply going to take your hand and squeeze it towards your ear. Now give that a shot five to 10 times. 
okay? So the fact that we're doing it with one hand right now, I'm actually coming down the, with the reps and giving you five to 10 rep repetitions on your lateral bicep curl or the unilateral bicep curl. Take your choice, I love this motion. It really works on the core as well as the bicep. Five to 10, nice. Good, I like the sweat I see brewing. I want you brewing sweat out there as well. Really important that you're working hard right now. And relax, good, take your rest. Five to 10, if you need the rest, anchor on down. At any point you feel uncomfortable, you're tired, then rest. Now you did your bicep curl. We're next gonna go with a bicep curl, and I want you just to work on your pressing now. Come back down, and then press. Just your press overheads, come back, and notice the nice stretch they have here. Now, look at the variation that you can do as you come through here to add a twist and to add a rotation on this motion. Everything is working. Your arms, your shoulder, your chest, and your core. I like that. We're breathing nice and hard. Five to 10, good, good. Awesome. If you want to rest, then rest. You're seeing real-time, authentic workouts, what it takes to get to the next level. And relax, again, we're looking at five to 10 repetitions. I'm not asking you to do 10 to 15, five or 10 on the unilateral work. We're only going on one side. Now, since we're on this side, I also want to get easy, easy, easy. Not really. Unilateral chest fly, like you're hooking, okay? So you're gonna have a little hook on this. The lateral chest fly allows you to get your core, as well as your chest and your shoulders and your arms again. So this time I want you to really set your good pace and just hook like you're hooking strap. Ready? And go. Boom. Back and forth. Good squeeze. Lateral chest fly. So you had your chest flies just previously. Now you're getting to kneel or to sit, whichever you'd like, and to get that. This feels so good on your core and on your chest and on your arm. Once again, I'm looking for a rep range of somewhere between five and 10 repetitions. Continue to work that motion. Yes. Yes, good, almost there, almost there. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Take your rest, take your rest. Now think about this. You're like, oh, I really like this unilateral work. It feels so good to do one-sided, to work my core, to work my arms. So guess what? I have a surprise for you. You have the, you call it on this side because we want a little bit more. You get to work the unilateral chest fly, the press overhead, the bicep curl, whatever you want, you get to play. Once again, isn't the total gym so fun that you can do these different motions, you never get bored with them. Ready? 30 seconds to do whatever you can do. The time starts right now. Go, come on, like that. You can work your arms, you can work your chest, you can work your core, you can work your shoulders. You want to work your bicep, go with a lateral bicep curl. If you want to work your shoulders, certainly go with a lateral press overhead. If you want to work your chest and your core, go with that lateral chest fly, the unilateral chest fly. It's your call. You're almost there. Come on. 10 seconds left. This feels so good. Keep it squeezed. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Take a rest. Enjoy what it feels like right now to have one side, to have the blood pumping through your body. This is a really good thing. And if you want to get great, you must challenge yourself. Now watch how easy this transition is. What you're going to do, you're going to knuckle down, you're going to come to the other side. I would hate for you to walk away now and have be one-sided. We have to make sure we go to the other side. A couple things to point out as you go to the other side. Once again, you're going with the front side handle. You're going with the front side handle on this. You can see this here. And when we do this, the first exercise, the oblique twister, you could be seated, you could be, low, you could be low kneeling, or you could be high kneeling. You have a variation. You choose wherever you're at today, do your best. Okay, so we have the oblique twisters. 10 to 15, ready and begin. Awesome, full range of motion, short lever or long lever, don't forget about the oblique twisters. I like what I see today. I like what I see. Challenge yourself. Every day we must bring our A game. We must bring the A game. I always say get your mind right. Make sure right now your mind is right. You're in the routine. You're working out in the total gym. Life surely is good. Keep it working. Five, come on, four, three, two, one, and relax. Take your rest. Anchor down if you need to. If you need to rest, you can put your foot down. You can anchor down with your knuckles on the glide board, whatever's most comfortable, because we now have our lateral bicep curl. The lateral bicep curl. Now on this, when you do this, I want you to come out with your palm facing up 
and really squeeze to your ear, squeeze your bicep. Okay, the bicep is really important that you squeeze it. Don't just go through the motions. It's the little and then some that's gonna make a big difference. Five to 10 repetitions on your lateral bicep curl. Your unilateral bicep curl. There you go, you're seated sideways on that. You're perfect position. Your posture is good, your chest is up. There's a smile on your face, I like what I see. Good, five to 10, when you're done with that, relax. If you need more rest time, get more rest time. If you wanna keep working, because you're like, keep it going, Todd, I'm feeling great now. Then we're going into the lateral, press overhead. Let's give it a shot, starting position, and then press. I love the stretch I see in here. Stretch it and press it. A lot of core involvement from the kneeling position. So yes, you are working your core, even though you're working your chest and your shoulders and your arms. You're working everything. Good, more bang for your buck, and I like that right there. Five to 10 repetitions on the press overhead. I wanna hear you sweating, I wanna hear you panting, I wanna hear you working. Give it a little bit, come on. Good, squeeze, and relax, take your rest. Awesome. So we had our lateral bicep curl. We had our lateral press overhead. Now we're gonna go with our lateral chest fly. The lateral chest fly, again, like a hook. If you're boxing or you're coming over and you're doing a little hook shot, okay, we're gonna come all the way around. Keep your elbow bent, squeeze it on around. Awesome. Five to 10, again, is your rep range. We're going with all rep ranges today because it gives you, as the intermediate level exercise, the variation in the ability to choose. Man, I got a couple more repetitions, let me keep going. Then good. I wanna keep a tempo working. I wanna keep the tempo. Good, I like what I see right here. Unilateral chest flies, good, squeeze. Good, squeeze. Excellent, and relax, take a rest. Now look at her working. This is fantastic. But wait a second, wait. I don't wanna forget about the you call it, because now you get a chance to work your arms, your shoulders, your chest, or your core. You get to choose it in that 30 second time period. How you feeling, Adam, Christy? I love this seated position, the kneeling position from the lateral. You can work some unilateral type work. We have 30 seconds to choose. Bicep curl, press overhead, or the chest fly. Ready, and go. You call it, whatever you want. Give me your best effort. Come on, come on, push. Yes, yes, this is fantastic. You're almost there. I promise you, press right now. Press hard, challenge yourself to be your best. You're almost there, work, work. I need 10 more seconds out of you guys. 10 more seconds, that's it. Come on, push it, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Anchor on down. Oh my goodness, your upper body is probably feeling like a wet noodle right now, and you're saying, oh, Todd, that was awesome. Good, this is the intermediate level program. As you anchor down, you're gonna come all the way up to your feet, all the way up to your feet. Relax, we're ready for the grand finale time. Yes, we're almost done with our intermediate level program. Can you believe that? So this is what we're gonna do. We have a combination of push-ups as well as pull-ups. So we're gonna need our wing assembly here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get your wing assembly, but first you must unattach your pulley system from your glide board. Don't forget about that. Please take your pulley off, attach it to the top of your, your column here. And once you do that, you're gonna take your wing assembly and you're going to attach it. Now, look how easy it is. It's not difficult at all. If you don't use the, the wing assembly much, practice with it. Within about 10 seconds, you're gonna get it. Make sure that this column right here, okay, the, the wing assembly is facing the column. As long as you do that, that's gonna be great. And we're gonna use it for some pull-ups. And don't forget to put your safety pin in the column. And when you do that, then you know you're good. But you may want to adjust your column now. Think about this. If you want to make your pull-ups harder, you can go higher. Like Adam just went to a six. That's really a fantastic, that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be a good intermediate level challenge. If you want to go higher, go higher. If you want to go lower, okay, it's gonna be harder on your push-ups because it's lower, but it will be a little bit easier on your pull-ups. Now, what we're gonna do is this, come into your push-up position. Anytime you want to modify, you can simply modify. We're gonna go push-ups and pull-ups. Now, with the push-up position, this plank is your modification. At any time, if you can't do the push-up, come back to your plank. And I'm looking right here for 15 repetitions on the push-up. Keep your elbows nice and tight. If you want to add a variation and, and lift up a leg, that's certainly going to be a little bit more challenging. Ready and begin. Challenge as best you can. Awesome. Come on. Continue to work. Good, good. Excellent. Breathe. Take your time. Take your time and breathe on the way up. 10 to 15 repetitions. This is an upper body routine, upper body little exercise, back and forth, whatever you have. Good, good, good. 
Excellent job, and relax, up to your feet. I wanna minimize the grand finale time, I wanna minimize the rest time into your pull-ups. Walk the glide board up, all the way. Hands are on the wing assembly. You can do two arm pull-ups, or you can add a plyometric pull-up. This is where you're actually gonna pull yourself up powerfully, release, and then grab. Give it a shot, whichever one you like. You have your pull-up, or you have your plyometric pull-up. It's your choice. Good, whatever you have, I'm looking for 15 repetitions. 10 to 15, I love the plyometric pull-up. I love the pull-up. Come on, keep it working. Keep it working, almost there, almost there. Keep it going. 10 to 15, whatever you have. Good, good, yes, good. If you wanna finish with regular pull-ups, I love pull-ups. You can't get enough pull-ups. And relax, take a rest, shake it on out. Come on back, we have one more set. Now do your pull-ups, do pull-ups. Even when I'm working with little kids, I always say, make sure you work on your pull-ups. You can't get a strong enough back. You wanna make sure the back is strong. How do you do that? Then you get pull-ups. So you can adjust very simply at any time. Just take a look how easy it is. You take out your pin, you adjust it down nice and low. Adam's going to a three. I also wanted to note here, notice how her glide board is in the closed position. If you wanna make it any harder, you would open that glide board and look at the this instability here, which provides for more core activity. This is an advancement as you progress on up. It's your choice. I'm looking for your last best effort on the push-up. 10 or 15, ready and go. Come on, push. I like it. You have an open position, your one leg is up. This is great. This is an intermediate level program. If anytime you wanna modify and go with a regular push-up, awesome. If you wanna go to your knees and go mod modify push-ups, awesome. I want you to do whatever you can do. Come on, push, push. Keep it going, keep it going. Yes, yes, whatever you got. And relax, take your rest, shake out your arms, shake out your arms, and get ready for your pull-ups. Now, the fact that Adam had lowered his, his uh, railings down, now he's gonna go with a single arm pull-up. Single arm, try it, vary it. Depending on where your total gym is at, you can always lower it and go single arm, or you can stick with your pull-ups or your plyo pull-ups. Do your best effort. Okay, why don't you see we're trying a little more advanced here with the single arm plyometric pull. Again, he's showing you the progression of where you can go, right? You always have to keep pushing, whatever you have. Back and forth, 10 to 15 total repetition. Single arm pull, all day back and forth. That's what I'm talking about, good. Finish strong, whatever you have left, you come on. Whatever you have left in that tank, push, push, and then some, because when you're done with this exercise, you're done. Five, hold it there, hold it at the top, hold it at the top, come back halfway. Come back that way, stop right there. Say, oh, I love it, told you. It feels so good, my body's worked good. And relax, take a rest. Coming all the way back. All the way up to your feet, shake out your arms. Awesome, relax. We're gonna grab your squat stand, please. Grabbing your squat stand right now. The grand finale is one of my favorite ways to get everything out of the tank, whatever you have left. Whatever you have left in your tank, the grand finale allows you to empty the tank. So we're gonna go into a few minutes of just stretching here. We're gonna go into uh, the hip stretch. I want you to lie back on the glide board. Come to the bottom of the glide board. You're gonna walk it on up, have a seat, okay? On having a seat on the glide board and hip stretch. Lying on your back all the way down and you take one foot up on top of your knee. Now this feels really good in your piriformis, your glute. And we'll take about three to five breaths as you sink it down, coming all the way down into the hip stretch. Good, opening that area up and breathe. You just had a fantastic workout. Reward yourself. Reward yourself with a great stretch. Don't say, oh, the workout's over. No, because if you want to recuperate and regenerate and feel good so you can come back in another day or two to do the workout, then this stretching is going to help you. Awesome. Hamstring stretch. Okay, same exact leg. Hold behind your knee and just stretch it on out. And it doesn't matter how flexible or not flexible you are. Do what you can do on your stretch. Okay, stretch out your hamstring, feel slight tension, relax, and breathe. Ah, it feels good, it feels euphoric to get that great workout in. Now slowly we're gonna roll over onto your left side, into the sideline quadricep stretch. Now lying on your side, the upper arm, the, the, the arm that's underneath on the glide board, relax your head, This gives your neck good support. Grab your shoelaces, and as you stretch out your quadricep, I want you to think about squeezing your gluteal the backside booty. Okay, when you do that, when you stretch your quad and you squeeze your glute, you're gonna feel that accentuation in your quadriceps. So squeeze the glute. 
and relax. Come back to your back, on your back, and let's go with the other leg. Other foot is on up, stretching on out, and sink it down. The lower you go, the more you feel your stretch. And once again, this stretch right here, the hip stretch, is really getting into what's called the piriformis, the real deep muscle in your glute where the sciatic nerve runs through. If you stretch this area out, regardless if you're a desk jockey or you're an athlete or anyone in between, this stretch will really help free you up. So the hip stretch is awesome. And then into our hamstring stretch, once again, our hamstrings often get shortened. The flexibility for five or 10 minutes after a program will help lengthen us out. I'm showing you some of my favorite stretches on the Total Gym that you can do anytime after your workout. Good, so you're getting your hamstring stretch. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And into our sideline quad stretch. So as you go into your sideline quad stretch, don't forget to squeeze your glutes. Okay, you're coming back, you're holding your shoelaces, your upper body and neck is relaxed. Continue right there. Good, good, good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then gently relax and come on up. Now as we come up to our feet, so you're gonna go back to your back, scoot, feet go to the ground, you're gonna come off of the glide board all the way. And what I wanna show you real quick is a kneeling hip flexor stretch. And as you do your kneeling hip flexor stretch, notice the squat stance. The squat stand here is actually adding, acting as a support. So as you kneel down in the middle of your glide board, I want you just to extend one leg back and feel how great that feels in your hip flexor, okay? Just try that and you're like, oh my goodness, I wanna do that every day. Then do it every day because you cannot get enough flexibility and stretching in. Awesome, good, and just come over top of the glide board, over top the railings and go with the other leg. This is the kneeling hip flexor stretch and it feels so wonderful on your hip flexor. And once again, if you're sitting a lot throughout the day, if you open up your hips, you're really gonna get a lot more mobility and you're gonna feel healthier, you're gonna feel better. Awesome with those hips. And slowly coming on back. And we're next gonna go to the top of the squat stand. Coming on to the top here, I want you to work on your back, straddle, and come all the way right here. So let's give that a shot as best you can. Adam and Christy will be close to each other. You can see, but what we're after here, just take, have your legs nice and wide, is to stretch out your back. We're using the squat stand here to really straight, straighten out and strengthen and lengthen your lats as well as your hamstrings and your lower back. So the back stretch is just awesome for that. Good, stretch, stretch, stretch. Five, four, three, two, and relax all the way up let's turn her on around and next you're gonna use the tricep stretch going with a tricep pulling all the way down taking that hand back behind your back and stretch out the backs of your arm the tricep feels so good to stretch and let's go the other way stretch it on out stretch 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 oh it feels good to stretch our entire body we work today and now we want to stretch it on out awesome work relax christy great job Adam, fantastic. I want to congratulate you for completing this Total Gym Intermediate Level Program. Those are some of my best moves I use with all of my athletes and all of my fitness enthusiasts. I did everything from legs to core to upper body, your front side, your back side. But remember, it continues to take hard work, commitment, and dedication on your end to get phenomenal results. So I look forward to seeing you real soon. In the meantime, remember, train hard, eat right, and live inspired. Thanks for joining me.